Hello, everyone. So after a, a number of re requests, I finally had some time to um, sit down and uh, give us a chance to go through all the changes that we've made with the new uh, diesel line. So this has been in the works for um, almost a year. So we made a number of improvements over our previous Pulse models. Uh, it's all meant to me uh, make a difference really for the end user. user. So firstly, we greatly increased the strength uh, and durability of the panel. The, the outside iron housing is uh, almost three times as thick, so it's making it more capable of withstanding uh, any of the issues that we deal with through uh, shipping or dropping it. Uh, all the internal components from the diodes, the bulbs, the fans, power supply, the wiring, the screws are significantly more robust. So because of this, we're able to increase the warranty from three years to five years, which is the highest uh, on the market right now. Uh, and because of the more robust components, the, the decibels, so the sound is actually lower. So it just makes for a, a quieter experience. Uh, the EMFs are also lower. Uh, and one thing really cool is we've been able to create a, a double chip. So meaning inside each bulb is two diode chips. Each one of those um, has its own wavelength. So that wavelength is going to be one in the red, one in the near infrared. Or with our blue version, we actually have one in the red, one in the near infrared, and one in the blue. So a, a quick example. So if we go to the previous model, you can see the blues are on, everything else is turned off right now. Now I add the red and the near infrared, red, blue, near infrared. They're all separate. Each one has its own separate bulb. You may also be able to hear the fans. So we'll see this in the comparison. So the upgraded, so here we have all three wavelengths are on at the same time. I can change all blue. This is all red and near infrared or all three combined. And you can hear how quiet this is. So what that does is it gives better overall coverage so that when we're standing in front of it, particularly if we're close by, we're not having just Red here, just near infrared here, just blue here. We're getting all those wavelengths uh, over the entire body. Um, and that's something that I've been trying to work on for quite a while and was finally able to get it, uh, get it done. So we've also been able to increase uh, the irradiance from about 108 to 130, and that's with a, a laser meter. That's a whole nother... Uh, area topic that we can get into what really is irradiance what does it mean and and how to properly read that because uh it's something that can be a little bit frustrating uh due to a lot of kind of a marketing hype or misinformation out there so that we'll save that for a whole another uh presentation uh the goal is the more power the further away you can stand and still get that correct amount of power that the body likes, which is more in that vicinity of 30 to 50 milliwatts uh, per centimeter squared. Now, one big change that I've done is I've actually gone from five wavelengths down to three. So you may say, well, that's less. Well, it's not the case. Because of the preponderance of evidence pointing towards 810 nanometer, which is in the near infrared, as being the best wavelength for one, for depth of penetration anywhere in the body, but two, best for brain health. I've eliminated the 850, the 930, and I've only gone with the 810. So every bulb has the 810 wavelength, and it'll share with either the 630 or the 670, both in red. The 670 uh, in a recent study was shown to be uh, you know, very beneficial for eye health. 
Uh, the control panel I've also made to be much easier, less less fiddling around with different buttons. And the good thing is, is after you initially set it, all you had to do from that point on, turn it on in the back, hit the power on the front, and that same setting is going to come up. So again, particularly if you're in a wellness center and you've got to have uh, your clientele work the, uh, the panels, very easy to use. So the pulsing has stayed the same. Right now, one to 10,000 hertz is the option. You can manually adjust to any of those or use the 10 presets. Um, the blue, red, near infrared, both in the tabletop version and in the mini, now pulse. So the tabletop will do the exact same pulsing of one to 10,000 with all those same uh, presets. The mini will do either uh, continuous wave non-pulsing or it'll pulse at 294. So what we've also done is we've increased the amount of options for you. So instead of previously, you just had really the option between uh, the tabletop and the large, now you've got the tabletop, you've got the XL shorty, You've got the large and you've got the XL. So it just depends on what's going to fit your needs. Personally, I like to be able to sit down and get my light. And so the XL shorty is a perfect height for me to use. If you are a taller upper body person, the XL may be better or the large may be better. Um, or if you want to place this on the wall or on a stand, you may determine that one works better for you. The big thing is they're a lot wider. So the typical uh, panel uh, from the other companies is going to be about eight to nine inches, maybe 10 inches wide. Where with the XLs, we're doing 15 inches wide and the large, we're doing 12 inches wide. So instead of having to stack two regular size panels side by side to get the coverage you need, now you can do it with just one panel. So uh, just comes down to being able to save a lot of money by, by doing that. Uh, and we've added stands to this as well. So previously we had the floor stand. Uh, we had the solo stand, which was the horizontal. Um, and then you could do the door hook. So we've got the floor stand. Uh, we've got a horizontal stand that's on wheels now that will easily roll and fit underneath your bed or a massage or chiropractic table. We've got a uh, stacked stand coming up. So what we're going to be able to do is take the extra large and put a shorty, XL shorty, on top of that or take two XL shorties, one on top of the other. Again, just a matter of what fits your needs. If you're a shorter person, one and one will work great. If you're a taller person like me, six foot and above, doing the XL with uh, the XL shorty on top will be ideal for you. Uh, we've also got a modular stand and we're coming out with a wall stand, which meant for more wellness centers, and that will allow you to have uh, four panels, two on the bottom, two up top all together. So that's the, the basic of the changes that we've made. I think they're really, really nice improvements. Uh, I think this really puts us at the top of the market. Um, and I think the focus is on having good durability, having a really good warranty, uh, having devices that are backed by science and most importantly really is having that customer support meaning that if you purchase a panel you can literally set up a time to call me and we can talk through what kind of frequencies are going to be best for your needs um, and of course we've got the facebook group uh, we've got our monthly zoom call so the last thing you want to do is spend a lot of money on something that you don't know how to use that's just going to collect dust um, so when we talk about price, these may be priced a little bit more than, than some of the others out there, 
So you just have to, you have to compare. You got to say, what's good for me? What do I need uh, out of light? What is my budget? And when, uh, and I'll put up a, a, a spreadsheet. Uh, in most cases, these are actually very similar when we talk about price per bulb um, as a competition uh, out there. Uh, and they don't have the double chip. They don't have the pulsing. They don't have the different varieties of, of sizes. And they certainly don't have the warranty or the, the customer support. So that uh, allows you to, to really make good um, decisions. Uh, and uh, I think you'll be really happy with what you've got. All right. Take care.